Hey, it's Dustin from SalonGrowthAcademy.com, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about Yelp, the free listing, and paying for advertising through Yelp. So stick with me. Okay, let's talk about Yelp. First of all, every salon business or hairstylist should have a free Yelp listing. It costs you nothing. A lot of people go to Yelp to look. A lot of people leave reviews on Yelp. And so it's always a good thing for free to be able to post a, a directory profile through the Yelp platform. Now, when you do that, you're gonna start getting sales calls from Yelp and the people on the phone are going to ask you to pay for a Yelp listing. That means they're gonna serve you up, um, you know, when somebody's in your city looking for your service, whether it's a hairstylist or salon or whatever, they're gonna serve you up a little bit higher and there's some other key benefits that um, they'll offer you when you pay for it. In general, I don't think paying for Yelp ads is really a good um, use of your advertising budget for a few reasons, I'm gonna go over those. The first thing is when I've been on the sales call, sometimes I'll spend an hour on the phone with a Yelp salesperson and I will tell them, I don't think your service is worth the 300 bucks a month or whatever they're charging. They have different plans, but um, and they'll say, well, it looks here like uh, you have 30,000 views in the last certain amount of time. And I was like, that's absolutely impossible. Um, we don't have 30,000 women in our city. How could we possibly get 30,000 views on our Yelp listing. I mean, there's only a small fraction of people that are actually seeing me on Yelp, and you're trying to tell me that there are more Yelp views of my listing than there are people in this town, or women in this town at least. That's absolutely ridiculous. Well, sir, you know, I've seen the, and I was like, I just don't, I don't trust your analytics. If I can't trust your analytics, then how can I trust the rest of your platform? You're giving me false data. And for that reason, I was totally turned off, and I'm like, I don't really even want to hear more, but, I went into a little bit more and I was like, what is it gonna cost um, for your Yelp platform? The other thing I didn't like about it is when she told me the cost, um, it was a basically a one size fits all. They had a few different tiers and you're gonna get these um, benefits if you, you know, if you up it to a different tier or whatever. So I said, you mean to tell me that you're going to charge me um, kind of in a small town, the same price you're gonna charge somebody in New York City? I mean, like that's completely uh, different as far as like the reach and demographic and all that kind of thing. And they're like, yeah. Um, and maybe they've changed that since then, but then I'm just telling you since, since I talked to them last, this is how it was. And I was like, this, this model makes absolutely no sense. Like for me in a small town, $300 a month in advertising, that's a lot of money. And that money will go a long ways if I was to use Google ads or Facebook ads, but, um, putting all my eggs into that basket. I mean, if I was going to spend $300 a month on Yelp ads, that means that my advertising budget as a whole would probably have to be like $1,500 to $2,000 to even make sense. And I didn't have that much of an advertising budget. And most of our, uh, most of the way that we got traffic to our website and um, new clients was through search engine optimization as well. So anyway, if you're interested in learning a little bit more about how we do get traffic and how we do get new clients, I'll post a link down in the description of my online course. It's called Salon Growth Academy, and it'll teach you everything that you need to know to be able to um, grow your salon and get new clients on demand. Um, we typically get 30 to 40 new clients in our hair salon every month. And so I'm going to teach you how to do that in that course. And I also um, offer coaching with that as well. And then finally, the third reason that I don't really like the Yelp platform, at least how it was, I know they're probably always changing these things, is um, the fact that they lock you in to advertising for a year. So not only is it expensive, but you can't even really try it out and see if it's working. They lock you in to a year. And when it comes, like, as far as my advertising goes, I like to test things along the way. And that's why I like Facebook and Google, because I can... You know, I can throw $20 a day in advertising. And if I wanna turn that off tomorrow, I can. Um, if it works for a week and I just need, you know, a quick boost of new clients, I can do that. Run a hundred bucks for a week and I'm good. You know, with Yelp, it's like, hey, you're gonna be locked in at, you know, several hundred dollars a month and you have to be locked in for an entire year. So that just doesn't work with me. If you have a huge salon and, um, and you don't know what else to do with your advertising budget, then go ahead and use Yelp advertising. But I'm just saying for the average hairstylist, for the average medium-sized salon, um, Yelp ads, in my opinion, is not the way to go. You're really throwing money out the window and you will get um, new clients through a free listing. So definitely use the free listing. 
Um, but in my opinion, there are better ways to spend your advertising money when it comes to digital advertising on the internet. There's just better ways to put it. So, um, so that's my review of Yelp advertising. I hope this is helpful. If you still have any questions, if there's anything that I didn't address in this video as it pertains to Yelp listings, go ahead and put those in the comment section below. I'll be sure to look at those comments and I'll answer them if I forgot to mention anything about Yelp advertising and how it works. So thanks for watching and make today extraordinary.